Hello, my name is Dante Renee, and welcome to the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like tonight's film, this is 1979's Tropic of Desire. Now, um, this was put out on DVD from Vinegar Syndrome, but it was also put out on the Five Films, Five Years, Volume 3, uh, Golden Age of Erotica Blu-ray set with a bunch of other films as well that I might be, might be looking at in the future. Uh, so Tropic of Desire is one of these films. Um, I did not get this on DVD, so it was great to pick this up and to get it on Blu-ray uh, for the first time that I've ever seen it. This is 1979, and it says on the back here that it uh, stars Georgina Spelvin and Dorothy LeMay, but there are a host of other characters in here as well um, that you will notice from some other films, including an actress that was in the film that I looked at on this YouTube page, uh, Swedes Behind Bars, I believe, Seven Swedes Behind Bars, which the, the, the true X-rated version, apart from the Irwin C. Dietrich cut into that film, was Ball Game, which uh, I could be looking at in the future in this film. But um, she is also in um, Pro Ball Cheerleaders, which I've looked at on this YouTube page as well. A bigger-breasted woman with a black curly hair, and I haven't really ever seen her in any other Vinegar Syndrome films. Who is she? Let's see if you can find out. Uh, she's in this film as well, and uh, there are a lot of other faces in here as well that you're going to recognize, male and female. Let's get into Tropic of Desire 1979, because i got to tell you something here, folks. Holy crap. Wow. Um, this is directed by Bob Chin, and it was produced by Gail Palmer. Now, Gail Palmer, Gail Palmer is known for her, um, her working in the uh, Carol Connor films, uh, Candy Goes to Hollywood, uh, The Adventures of Candy, I believe, which I've looked at on this YouTube page. And so she's producing this film. Now, put aside, folks, put aside all of the, all of the stereotypes you hear in our society about X-rated cinema, about adult cinema. And then maybe put aside your stereotypes of the world of cinema and the world of music a long, long time ago. And meld the worlds together into a new genre experience that will shatter all of those stereotypes and bring in the rain of a new type of movie, a new type of genre, or a redefinition of all of those things that I mentioned. Tropic of Desire, 1979. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the music first here because the music sets the tone for this entire film. We have old time music, old time, you know, big band, old time jazz, old time bluesy type stuff. Almost reminded me of some of the the music in uh, the the documentary on Crumb and the docu or and the and the film Ghost World, um, and even in a more modern film like Black Snake Moan, utilizing that type of old time blues. But this is really old time um, band music, wartime music. And the interesting thing about it is, is that the music ebbs and flows to its own rhythm. As if a director of movies is the DJ at a party. And so, as opposed to regular DJs, they have to make sure there's no space in between the songs at all, right? Constantly fill it up with music. In this particular case, there's times for natural sounds, there's times for silence, and there's times for music. And sometimes the music will not start at the beginning of a scene. Sometimes it will just start whenever the DJ director sees fit. What a fascinating use of music in this film. I also need to mention, when you push play on this movie, there's no dialogue for like the First five, ten minutes, I believe. Something like that. No dialogue at all. We also have... Um, 
Hawaiian music, beachside music, that almost reminded me a bit of maybe some of Carlos Tobolina's films. But it's that lack of dialogue in the beginning of this movie that really kind of shows you the experience you're about to enter into. That it's going to be unique, that it's going to be powerful, that it's going to have quite a movie feel. That you could be entering into art, you could be entering into cinema, movies, you could be entering into um, something with elegance, something with effective attitude, effective vision, purpose. You look at the style of this movie and the camera sometimes glides along glides along and then fixes itself on a, on a photograph on a wall. Moving across a room, gliding, until we reach the sounds that we've been hearing, the people that have been talking. We have some extremely colorful uh, sc screen changes, fades in this film as well, which can signify different sexual positions. And very, very um, animated and, and, and uh, interesting. You know, I look at the film uh, Return, Return of the Cheerleaders, I believe, which I've looked at on this YouTube page. And they had some pretty colorful fades in that film. But, uh, try, you know, this one, man, this film really has some, some colorful fades. Um, 1979. And, and Tropic of Desire has... A real rhythm to everything. We're flirting with different styles and genres in this film as well, folks. Um, we have real emotion in here. Loss. Pain. Anguish. And we will sometimes experience the language of pain and anguish non-verbally. Through a character's tears. through the real difficulty and complexity and non-black and white nature of life itself. You will see that here in Tropic of Desire. The performances are unreal. Georgina Spelvin has this scene, again, with no talking because she's by herself. It's as if the camera is allowing the performances to unfold, to completely, unabashedly unfold. And that's what you have here in Tropic of Desire. Um, you have some comedy. You have um, an unreal sucker punch fight sequence in this film that is really well done. Uh, no stunt doubles here. There's the use of such you know minimal sets, minimal sets but they look so damn good. You feel like you are in wartime. You feel like you are in this um, whorehouse. You'll, that phrase will be used at certain times in the film, uh, positively and negatively. You'll feel that you're there in the tropics and in a boat or sub, a military submarine and, and the costumes and the sex scenes, the sex scenes have unbelievably hot angles at times. Uh, cask you're really getting an essence of, of, of breasts or getting, a, getting an essence of the butt or the vagina. And we have, I thought all of the sex scenes in this film were very hot and attractive and just very well filmed and well done with an interesting little kind of um, element to the storyline of a virgin as well. And we have the use of alcohol and we have the use of um, kind of love, infatuation, obsession, lust, desire, pleasure, feeling, 
um, fantasy and reality, who you want somebody to be uh, versus who they really are, or can those, can those uh, two things uh, bridge, bridge the gap and connect? Um, we have the aspect of, um, you know, the real aspect of, there's this amazing scene where Georgina Spelvin says to Dorothy LeMay, you know, don't think about anything else. Don't think, don't think. Erase your head. Just feel. Just feel. Relationships. The ups and downs. Goals. A life well lived. The desire to live. The desire for doing. And you're going to tell in the first 15 minutes of this film, first 15, 20 minutes of the film, the, all the stereotypes that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, they're going to just shatter and fall down and Tropic of Desire will bring you into an artistically edited, filmed, scored, lit, catch those neon lights at times, cascading over people's bodies. I keep saying cascading. You're going to see true artistry. You're going to experience a sex film that is within the world of wartime, within the world of real characters, real performances, real emotions. This is Tropic of Desire, 1979, directed by Bob Chin. 75 minutes long. Even the closing credit sequence is awesome. And if you love Dorothy LeMay like I do, you're going to love her in here as well. Uh, there are a couple um, shots of her uh, that if you're a fan of her body and such, you're going to love. Um, especially uh, in the butt area. Thank you so much for watching the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more like Tropic of Desire from 1979. Thank you so much, and please feel free to check out my own personal films at youtube.com slash poopy diarrhea. That's P-O-O-P-Y. Thank you so much, and good night.